Hi Leos, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. So, I've already started your reading. The first card we have is holding on to past grudges and fights from the past. Resentment. Are some of you guys just holding a grudge? You're way too hung up on the past. You know, Leos are a fixed sign, so you guys can be um, a little stubborn. Um, things have to go a certain way. You get hung up on it. You know, try to release that energy. I know it's not easy. So, did you take your ex back? Some of you guys are wanting to, to get back with someone from the past. Could be a Gemini. We have the Gemini card. But you're my better half. The best I ever had. Um... Some of you are looking back towards the past and you're feeling like you, you really missed out. Like you already had the best and the other options in front of you, like you either feel like they're just not good enough, they don't compare. You're also afraid you're not going to find what you had before. You, you fell in love with somebody and it was everything that you ever wanted and now you guys are worried like you're just not going to find that again. But what's interesting about it is you're also, with the resentment card though, you're also feeling like you almost are like, you have a grudge against this person. You're still mad at them for whatever went wrong between the two of you. You feel like it's not going to work out. We have selfish lover. Nothing to offer. They could have been a selfish lover. You guys could have been that way too much maybe you are focused more on your own needs than the other person I still really want this relationship somebody somebody is well we've already yeah said that you are like I said you still really want this person we have male crying over you okay it could be the other way you could be a male Leo or if you're watching this but if you're not if you're a female then maybe this is your ex. They still want you back. They still think about you. They're crying. They're missing you. They're upset. Okay, we have incoming communication. Expect a call. Expect a text. You guys are going to talk about. You're going to talk again. Okay, and if you didn't want to talk to them again, sorry, but you're going to talk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's just get two more before we move on to tarot. Two more. This is for Leo, please. No, that's a huge chunk. I'm not taking all that. This is for Leo, please, spirit guides. Two more. All right, we got three. Whatever, I'll take it. So we have I'm a Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart, but we have new dicks. <laughs> talking to multiple men mingling so some of you are playing the fields you're getting back out there you're dating okay oj simpson that pussy uh oh no some of you are just hooking up or someone misses just the sex okay we have no communication no calls someone is blocked here Maybe you block somebody, you block your ex. This is a little drama, is this reading. Let's see, what are the tarot messages for this situation? What are the tarot messages? Okay, we have the world's card. You guys, you could be dealing with a fixed sign like you. It could be a fellow Leo or an Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus. But you guys are starting a new chapter, okay? Um, this is also, it could be a cycle that's going on. Yeah, that definitely makes sense because we have, you know, someone wanting to come back in. They want to start this back up again. When you, if it's not you, you might feel like this has ended already, you're over it. You don't want to start it back up, but they do, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. So I'm getting a vibe from this card that someone is immature emotionally. That could have been why things ended in the past. They couldn't keep up with you because you guys are the queen of wands. You guys are fiery, feisty, magnetic, passionate. We have the four of swords. Someone here is taking a break, taking a time out. You might feel like you just need more time to heal from things. 
because there's been too much conflict here with the five of swords there's been harsh communication someone might have said some bad things to each other we have the seven of swords somebody has been deceptive or lied sneaky behavior yeah not good there could have been cheating involved nine of cups but someone feels like regardless of all this drama you're still their wish fulfillment six of swords they're hoping to move forward with you victoriously they're hoping that things could be like calmer and less drama they they're hoping when things calm down you guys can work it out and commit to each other but you guys are saying no it's too much drama i want to move on i want to move forward you know potentially some of you guys don't want this anymore it's too much conflict you guys are looking for something more stable, more committed, possibly more traditional, not so toxic, not so all over the place, right? Yeah, we have someone walking away here with the Eight of Cups. So I'm going to grab some more tarot cards to clarify each one. This is for Leo, please, spirit guides. This is for Leo. <laughs> this is for Leo, please. So, let's clarify the world card. What is this new chapter about with the world card? What is this new chapter about with the world card? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah someone walking away and we have the eight of wands that's um moving forward moving on that can also be communication so it's like as soon as you move forward this person wanted to reach out and communicate right they almost want what they can't have so now that you're walking away they want you back right All right, so next we're going to clarify the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. That's um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, sorry about that. So, we have the Eight of Swords with the Five of Swords, okay? Clarifying the Knight of Cups. So what I was wondering with the Knight of Cups is why is there some sort of emotional immaturity here? Um, so someone is conflicted with the Five of Swords mentally. See how he is looking confused? And then we have the Eight of Swords. So someone's feeling trapped. I'm almost getting like it's the person who's interested in you, but there's something about you moving on, you having enough self-worth and confidence to move on has caused this person some great insecurity. They really just feel that they cannot measure up or match your energy here with that Queen of Wands. And it makes them feel like they're not on your level. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's your card, guys. This is your card, the Strength card. That's Leo's card, and it's clarifying the Queen of Wands. So, I mean, geez, you guys are really in your energy right now, your power. You're like this lion that's like, rawr. <laughs> um, why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? I was really curious about this. Oh, that's too many cards. Because... It's like, you need a break, or you guys need to make sure you are... I'm not sure. Let's see. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? What is this? The Hierophant. So there's some sort of... Yeah, you guys are seeking stability here. Um, you're, you're wanting something more traditional. This person is obsessed with you, though, with the Devil card. It could be a Capricorn. This person does not want you to move on. This person is very conflicted. They see you as the Empress. They know that you're too good for them, too good for their BS, that they were trying to serve you. 
They may have wanted you to be in some sort of toxic relationship with them and you guys didn't put up with it. You guys knew your worth, you knew your value and you left, you walked away and you said, yeah, I'm good off that, you know? And they were like offended, this person. This person might have really thought that they could fool you or they could get away with it. And when you guys, when you knew your worth and you knew your value, they were really embarrassed by that because they felt like, oh my God, this Leo, this person can really see me. They see that I'm not good enough. So it was very uncomfortable for them. It made them feel very insecure. And now they're spying on you, on your social media. They're watching you with the Page of Swords. They are, wow, a creep. <laughs> this is a creepy vibe. But you're moving on with the Six of court Swords here. You don't care. You guys are not letting it bother you. Yeah, you're starting a new chapter here on the Page of Pentacles. Because you know your worth, you know your value, you're not settling for anything less. If someone's not going to give you what you deserve, you're going to walk away. You've learned that lesson, right? This could have been a test or a lesson. The universe was sending this person your way and you passed because you did not accept them back into your life. Whether it's an ex or not, whether it was a karmic cycle, someone who you've been with before, or whether it was someone new who you've been dealing with recently, right? Either way, it doesn't matter. You guys have learned your lesson, and now you're ready to start a new chapter, which is really exciting. That's why we started out with the world card, remember? That was your first tarot card. That's amazing. So you guys have ended that cycle, closed it out, and you can start anew. So I hope that resonates for you. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!